Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Sizdek. Welcome to our third video in the series on the Stroop application uh, training video. In our second video, the last video, we went over how to generate a new record and to be able to store that record in a report and then save the record. Now we're going to talk about restoring client records. So you might wish to recall one of these records either to generate a report um, or add some additional information or to reload and then uh, administer another testing. So we signed in, we're in the reports and records tab. We're down to restore previous sessions section. Uh, we have some options for how we can restore records. Uh, we can choose to upload an entire folder, <clears throat> upload an individual record, or upload a record with multi a file with multiple records. Probably the option you would choose most often is to upload the entire folder. Remember I advised in the previous video that when you save your client data, you should save it to a dedicated folder. That is a folder that you have just for the save Stroop records. So now we're going to choose that folder where I have it stored. If you remember, I created a folder called Stroop Client Saved Records. Now here we need to make sure, even though I'm inside the folder right now uh, in my Explorer, I need to make sure that this record, that this folder is chosen. And so I could, I could click on it and see that folder appears or uh, here's more likely how you would get to it. You might be going and searching for that folder and you would see it listed. You want to click on that. Uh, however you get there, you want to make sure that that folder is listed below and then you can choose to upload. It's going to ask me to confirm to upload all the files I have in that. Uh, those are all the Stroop files, so I will choose to upload them. And you can see now that all the records that I had stored are going to be listed. This is going to make it easier to be able to um, retrieve records uh, instead of just looking at the name of the file. And it, you know, it's not such a big deal here, just four records, but if I had more, I could search for a particular record uh, by name, anyone who's got a certain name. Uh, I could choose to sort in a certain way, alphabetically, uh, in ascending or descending order. And I can choose the number of pages to display. Um, from here, I can choose the specific record I want by clicking on it. Uh, we'll get into that later. I can also choose to upload an, an individual record. And in this case, um, what I would do is select individual, and now I'm going to browse and select the actual file of the individual I want. So this is, this is actually in that Stroop uh, client saved records folder where I just uploaded all the records before. Um, I can just choose one of these files. Um, and so you can see it's a little harder to know, like I've got two files that are the same name and, and a different date, but that's meaningless. So that's why I recommend uploading the entire folder because then you can see additional information about it. But whatever, you may wish to upload a specific file so you can select that and then you can see that file is displayed. The final way that we can upload records is multiple records uh, from one file. And we'll see shortly that um, in uh, later down at the bottom here, we'll be able to download a template that we can use to record all different uh, client data. And we might do this if we're doing research, for example. Maybe we, we just wish to record everything on this Excel file. It is an Excel file, whereas the other ones were CSV files. Uh, it needs to be Excel because I've placed certain restrictions on the type of data you can enter. Um, so if I wish to enter this type of record, multiple records, one file, I can browse and select. Now, remember I advised not mixing files, so I want to keep all just my uh, client records that I generated in the website in one folder. Uh, so I've saved this, uh, this one file in a different location, and I click to upload it, and you can see all the records I have 
uh, in that one file are listed. Okay, so we've gone over the different ways that you can upload data to the application. Now, these are all the available records that you can choose. So it's listed in this table uh, so that you can browse all the records you have available. Uh, whatever you do from this point on to, um, to restore a record or do additional analyses, you want to move a record to selected record. And the way you do that is you will just click anywhere within the row, and then you can see that record's moved on a selected record. We can select multiple records. That's no problem. They'll both move down. Uh, unselect, reselect, however we wish. Um, and now we can see that these are the selected records that I will go over options for in a second uh, to either select one or additional. We can also edit this record anywhere here. So uh, I can actually go into the cell by double clicking and let's say for whatever reason I needed to edit that, there was a mistake, um, I can choose a different value. Now let's say I choose the number negative 10. Okay. Now that is an invalid value. Uh, our raw scores need to be zero or above. And so below here is a list of invalid values uh, in these records here. And you saw before when there wasn't uh, an invalid value, there was no, this table was not listed. Now for each of the values with restrictions, um, I need to go through and list and look and each of the columns now has a validated uh, word validated appended to it. You can see that as I'm scrolling along, all these numbers under va validated look fine, but when I get to color word raw score validated, that's a problem value. And so I need to go and look at what's wrong with color word raw score. Well, I can see it's below zero. That's not acceptable. So I need to go in and edit it to what it should be. Okay, so I edit it, I click anywhere off that, I fix the problem, and the invalid record disappears. Okay, um, in addition, we have this additional row in selected records. We can add a record right to this, uh, right to this table here, which will, um, which will then include that record in this table. Now you can see what popped up is uh, the invalid values table because I have not completed this record. I have no scores uh, for, for my raw scores. I don't have anything for education. So you can see that those are all problem values. And as I input that, the, the real values, those problem value cells will disappear and this record will be, will be valid. You can also manage your selected records by right-clicking. That will bring up some options. Uh, we can insert rows above, below, remove a row. Um, if you have a row inserted in the middle and you are adding additional rows afterwards, it's going to remove that additional row to the bottom. So uh, when you are adding rows and... Uh, working with the selected record in this way, it's usually best to do most of your manipulation uh, either in the form or in the app itself, uh, in the web application or in the downloaded template. That has checks on the data that you're entering to make sure it's fine. Uh, you know, as noted, it will demonstrate here if there's invalid records and what those are, but you may not be aware of what restrictions are available. Uh, nonetheless, it's nice to have this option to manipulate a specific record if you need to add one or do a fine tooth adjustment. So now that all your records are fine, uh, we have some options of what we can do with these records. The first, and this is probably what you'd want to do most often, is uh, to maybe rerun a report or to reload client information if you just want to change a couple things, we can restore a selected record. So restoring a selected record brings all that information back into the app and then allows you to process that information into a report and convert raw scores into T-scores. We want to select one of these records and I do that by selecting on the row number. So I can select just one at a time 
And when I've got the record that I wish selected, I'm going to click Restore Selected Record. And we can see now that it's restored this individual's information. And if we go to scoring information, all that individual's raw scores and then uh, so, uh, scaled scores are then calculated. So from here, I can then go back and just as I talked about in the previous video, uh, generate a report. Or we can also, uh, if we want to do another testing, like uh, maybe change the testing number, then change scores, uh, and then go maybe change the testing date. And then I can go generate a report. Another, another thing we may wish to do is we may wish to save all the records uh, that we have here, which will convert all of these records into T-scores in a wide form format. So it's going to do all the records that we have in our selected record table at one time. Uh, you don't need to click on anything. You can click off it. And this would be nice to do if you have um, like a research and you have all your records selected at once rather than enter them all separately. We'll do it all at once. So here, I don't need to select anything. I'm just gonna click Save All Records. And we can see it saved a record for us. We'll go click that and we can see that, uh, that all the data that we had, and sometimes you know, Excel does a thing where it may not look like the dates are saved correctly. You might have to process that, but we've got all the Interfe all the scores are calculated. We've got the residuals, the uh, raw scores, and all the scores are calculated also as, as uh, T-scores too, okay? And then finally, um, as we talked about, we to get to this point where we have a number of records, we may wish to start by downloading a multiple record template. And this will allow us to record our data in a wide format, uh, in a wide format so that we can process it in a, in a batch file just as we did before. So we've got all the, all the information to record on top. Uh, there'll be some restrictions on some of this data, like for example, it will tell us that the raw scores must be non-negative integers, uh, like education will be a drop down that we select, okay? And we need certain formats for the dates. When we've recorded all this data, we can save it and then upload it from multiple records in one file, just as we talked about earlier. So that covers all the different ways that we can uh, save data, that we can then reload it, and we can process it. Um, it gives you a lot of different options based on your needs, and uh, you can follow along with any of the specific parts that you need. Uh, this is also listed and described step-by-step -step in the help document. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions. Uh, if you want to go through any of this information, I'd be happy to walk you through it. Thank mm -hmm. you.